she rock this beat. going on youtube it's your boy richie ruckus we are back here today it is sunday april 26th i feel like the month of april has been like flying by at this rapid crazy pace and it's weird because as far as philly is concerned it's where we spend a bulk of the quarantine so far you know most of the beginning of march there was still some light we were still allowed outside we were still allowed to go to social gatherings stuff like that April has been nothing but lockdown, other than essential workers having to go to work. Um, we've been pretty much confined to our houses. And it's weird that the month's flying by the way it is. I mean, May 1st on Friday. So it's kind of crazy. That being said, I'm back with a brand new sneaker pickup. I kind of touched on this in the, the Spirit on Cage 2 video. When I filmed the Yeezy 700 video, I didn't think I won this raffle. But then later Saturday night, I found that I did. And then I corrected myself during the Spirit on review. That being said, they finally came in. Mail on a Sunday. Kudos to the United States Postal Service. And kudos to Lapstone Hammer for getting this pair to me. Like I said, I won it on the raffle. They're doing a relief fund. You can actually still go enter the raffle to win the new Fear of Gods that just dropped. They're not releasing their raffle until Monday. So you have the rest of tonight to go enter. I believe I will have a link in the description if you are interested in doing that. I'll have images going across the screen trying to explain what I'm talking about. Before we get on to the sneakers, if you're new to this channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow your boy on all social media. Speaking of social media, um, the hoodie I'm wearing it right now, it's outlandish. It's absolutely crazy. If you have been an avid viewer of this channel, you've seen me talk about wanting to do a outlandish Tiger King type hoodie. Then I went and did the Sneaker Things Sneaker King hoodie. Obviously, it's inspired by Tigers. Obviously, inspired by Tiger King. Obviously, inspired by Joe Exotic. So I released it. And this morning, or earlier today at 1 p.m., some sizes are still available. It actually is selling pretty fast, as well as some other restocks that I uploaded and the sneaker things all over print shorts. I caught a lot of trash talk from people that I don't know, and it's because somebody retweeted that I released it, and people were just bombarding my mentions. And it's funny because the hoodie was meant to be absurd. The, this hoodie was meant to be crazy. Like, this wasn't something you put on, you're like, wow. Gucci type stuff right here. Like, this the hoodie was obviously released to be absurd, outlandish, you know, crazy. That was the point of this hoodie. So, like, the trolls that were just in my mentions constantly talking trash on the hoodie didn't get the point because they weren't followers of mine. They aren't up to the channel. And I just thought it was funny that the stuff they were commenting on and trying to take shots at the hoodie was actually the reason the hoodie even exists. But they went and kept retweeting it, and then it did crazy sales. Like, I, I really thought I was going to be the only person to own this hoodie. I mean, I kind of did it because the Tiger King show was just such a, you know, a cult following. And it took the world by storm, especially in this pandemic that we're in. It was just like a feel-good thing. Everybody was tuning in. That being said, richardruckers.com. Some stuff is still available. Some sizes of the, t the Sneaker King hoodie are still there. Quite a few sizes of the shorts are still available. And then there's some restocks of stuff I've been getting asked to restock. The Super Mario Brothers tee is on there. Some OG stuff the mr softy or the sneaker things mr softy t also restocked i digress that ain't why you're here you're here for sneaker reviews so without further ado you know the drill let's get a glimpse all these warlocks we have the yeezy 350 v2 in this linen colorway few things about the sneaker before we actually dive into it i was expecting these to be a little bit of a lighter tan and I thought this gray was going to be more bluish. It definitely has a bluish hue. It definitely lives up to the color code on the shoe box. And it definitely lives up to the, the color, the colorway breakdown definition of the sneaker. I just thought this was going to be a little bit lighter. And I thought the gray was going to have a little bit more of a bluish hue. I was excited to get these. I thought as far as 350s were going, you know, there's just been so many redundant colorways. To see a stripe that really has nothing to do with the predominant colorway, I thought was pretty dope. You know, we're used to seeing the see-through stripes now. And we're used to seeing... You know, on the black, the, the stripe is still there on the black uppers, but then it's blacked out. And so I just thought it was very dope that they took like a tan colorway, added a gray liner on the inside of the sneaker, a gray midsole, and then the gray stripe. 
The rest of the sneaker is just that predominant, predominant linen tan colorway. You got the linen laces, Boost Boys in the building on the bottom. And there's just not really too much to say. It's a 350 V2 at, you know, there's only so many reviews you can really get into breaking down the sneaker. Uh, there's just a million colorways at this point. Yo, Kanye said everybody was going to get a pair of Yeezys, and he's keeping true to what he said. He's just been releasing millions and millions of 350 V2s, and, you know, for the most part, I I I'm kind of off the V2 bandwagon, as they are super comfortable, and they're very, very stylish, obviously, but I'm actually trying to break away from skinny jeans. I try to stay ahead of the curve when it comes to fashion, hence this crazy hoodie that I made, but I, I think baggier baggier pants are coming in like and obviously that exists with like sweats and like cargo pants and stuff like that but i do think baggier jeans are going to come back maybe not you know y leg boot cut like mj used to wear but i do think a baggier jeans going to come back and you can't rock that fit with this kind of sneaker so i feel like the sock like type sneaker is kind of ran its course and, and if you know if they were to put out dope colorways at a v2 i'm going to grab them but like as far as like ultra boost and stuff like that i really haven't bought any ultra boost i think the last pair i bought was my cream 1.0 that they restocked like two summers ago maybe last summer i'm not exactly sure of the official release date but it, it, it's I, i'm kind of off the the whole sock type sneaker thing i think these are very dope for ladies to still rock and, and for the fellas too but it's just i, I feel like the V2 is like the exception to the rule when it comes to like a, a, a tightly knit sock like sneaker like Vapor Max. I'm like, I was like the Vapor Max king for a minute. That's all I was rocking. And I kind of, you know, as, as dope as I, I feel they still look, I just, they don't go with what I'm trying to put together as far as the outfit's concerned. So it's, it's nice to see it not be just a muted earth tone and not just one colorway on the whole upper. And like I said, I think the gray and the tan go very, very well. Uh, my only critique of the sneaker, if I'm going to find one right now, is I really thought this was going to be more of like a baby, a baby bluish gray and not so much of like a, a gray with like a, a faint bluish hue. And I don't even know if the camera's really picking up what I'm saying, but if you see these in hand, the, the, the stripe and the liner on the inside is definitely more gray than what like images you know led us to believe and i know seeing them in hand and seeing them on foot is way more important than the you know internet images but it, it, i just felt like this was going to be more blue but you know kanye's been killing it he just got named a billionaire by forbes he is on board with nike retro in the air yeezy line leave comments down below if you agree with that i know it's a polarizing subject people are on both sides of the fence but I'm going to bang out this on foot. It's horribly rainy as of right now. So I'm going to get changed. Maybe do the, the on foot outside. I maybe stop doing it here in the sneaker room. But I'll be back later this week with some more videos. But until then, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace! The number you have reached, 911, has been changed. Speech.
Bye bye bye. Let's rock this beat.